Dr. Andreas Spina, functionalanatomyseminars.com. Uh, a few months ago, I put up a post on uh, the Kimura mold um, for the uh, shoulder, for uh, molding the shoulder into internal rotation. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate the same type of mobilization. Uh, this time it's for internal rotation blocks of the hip. Uh, internal rotation blocks of the hip is the uh, most common finding with someone that has uh, uh, OA of the actual hip joint, uh, in which case the, the first range of motion that will be decreased will be internal rotation. So that's when you'll uh, really want to utilize this mold. Um, on top of utilizing the mold, the one muscle that's really uh, inter, uh, interconnected with the hip capsule itself, as per the literature, is the gluteus minimus. So always remember that when you're uh, molding a hip, if it's blocked into internal rotation, uh, one of the functional range synergists that you have to look at is the gluteus minimus, uh, as it is actually adhered um, to the joint capsule itself. So in order to do the Kimura mold for the hip, what we're going to do is we're going to have the person's leg up, uh, bent to 90 degrees, and the knee bent to 90 degrees like this. And how we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, arm closest to the patient, and we're going to wrap it around the ankle so that you have full control of the ankle. The other hand is going to be blocking the person's knee. The reason for the other hand is that when you're internally rotating, if you allow the leg to abduct, you'll get a false sense of how much internal rotation the person actually has. So you'll see that they'll be able to internally rotate a lot more. If you take the, uh, the hand furthest from the patient and you block the abduction, and then you go into internal rotation, you'll find that there's less joint range. So that means we're going to get to the end range of motion a lot sooner. So once again, you're putting the one hand on the knee, you're headlocking around the other side, and then with this uh, hand, you're going to latch on to your own forearm. So from here, the mobilization is simply to rotate your body uh, towards the person's feet, once again blocking the leg from coming into abduction or the hip from coming into abduction, and you're going to mobilize by simply turning your own body uh, in this fashion. So of course when you're in end range, you can either do, uh, you can do joint pumping by just uh, moving the joint back and forth uh, into end range and out of end range, or you can do uh, some uh, pales contractions, uh, progressive angular isometric loading uh, while in this range. Uh, the whole while trying to improve that internal rotation block.